person's attitude reflects their opinions and thoughts and underpins their general approach to work as well as the way they communicate with their colleagues. As we'll see in the following interviews, there is a range of attitudes towards peer review, teaching, research and communication. I, I know the new promotion system gives a bit more emphasis to teaching, but I think amongst uh, a lot of the staff there's still the perception that research is the most important thing. So I guess on the one hand there are, people, there are a group of people, they're constantly reflecting on what they're doing. But there's another group of people, especially uh, with this unit review process, you come away not particularly satisfied. You know that you've given them uh, constructive comments, but you just think probably they're never going to do anything with it, they're just going to dismiss it. Last semester I spent some time giving and receiving feedback. Um, I think the best way for it to work for me is just to, to be an open person, uh, to be willing to, to listen to others' ideas and to not be afraid to, to give advice where it's needed. I mean, you can't always come up with something. Uh, but I think, yeah, being open is really important. That and being willing to share and to listen to others, actively listening, showing that, that you're listening. When I consider my teaching or my career in education, I think some of the most valuable experiences I've had is when I've had the opportunity to work with my colleagues and learn with them. Last semester, I, I was very happy to spend time observing one of my colleagues and then providing straightforward feedback, constructive feedback. Now, it's not about judging from a template of appropriate teaching. Well, I think that initiatives like the Excellence in Teaching Awards are wonderful. I mean, if you've been teaching a unit for, for some time and it's a unit that you're really, really passionate about, then it gets to the point where you, you develop a mastery over the subject matter and then, and then it moves on to where you actually kind of want to show off and, and share your capabilities. I do think there needs to be an acceptance of different pedagogical styles, that is learning and teaching styles from different backgrounds, from different countries and cultures. I've been in plenty of situations where I felt like turning to my colleagues and saying, you know, your attitude could really be improved. Yeah, but who am I to say what attitude they should or shouldn't have? It's disappointing when someone's closed off and not even willing to listen. I know one particular colleague who, if he had a choice, wouldn't do any teaching at all. He would just do research. Um, he will participate in peer reviews, but only because he has to, he doesn't particularly like it. He's a great um, conference presenter and I suppose um, a very good teacher also, but in a much more traditional style of teaching. He uh, prepares beautiful PowerPoints, uh, his lectures are, are well researched and prepared, but they're very didactic, they're very one way, they're quite dense. He's like, well, this is postgraduate level. Um, if students can't cope with that, then they shouldn't be here. Think about your own situation and the attitude of some of the people that you work with. What are some of the attitudes you've seen towards peer review, teaching and research? What sort of attitude encourages an environment that is supportive of peer review?